Hi. How are you? I'm um, so. No, no. Um, I was here on Monday. Mm-hmm. I said my phone is liquid damage, but I need the proof that it's liquid damage. And I don't know if you guys in this movie. The quote. The quote which is in the last song. And they said if this photo is too great as well. Show me a photo as well. Okay. So you see how it's liquid damage, no? Right, um, Welcome back. So, in my previous video, I had my phone, which I'm recording on now, taken apart. And I did not find any liquid damage on that, on my phone, right? So, in, in that video, I mentioned that I went to the store and... They showed me the photo of my phone that had liquid damage. That's the photo. I went back to them, I asked them I want a copy of the photo please, because I want uh, for insurance purposes. I used the insurance as an excuse. Of course, if I tell him I want to prove you wrong that you don't have liquid damage, it won't help me. So, oh, this image is very, very crappy. I don't know what phone they used in 2021 to take this photo, but man, it's a crappy photo. But anyway, this is the problem. I'm going to get up close. If you look here... They say that's liquid damage, right? And then, let's move over to here. That's a liquid damage indicator, which is red. Um, second problem. We can't really make out what's standing here. But this looks like 2020 and something and something. I'm just pointing out all the stuff I'm seeing in this photo. Right? They are telling me this is my phone and that my phone has this liquid damage on it. Another question I have and May it may it not be is look how this gasket is looking. Right? They would not replace the gasket on my phone if it was liquid damage. So either this is not my phone and this is they are using this as an excuse because my phone does not have a 2020 battery in it. It's got a 2019 battery in it. What I'll do is I'll take a snapshot from my video. I've got this scanned in and I'll highlight the difference. There's one more difference which makes me believe this is not my phone they're presenting this picture as. 
On my phone. On here. Right here. Let's just get this back in focus. Right here. Right in this spot. I've got a number on my speaker. This phone doesn't have anything. So this phone is not my phone. First of all. So either they are trying to get out the warranty or they took a photo of the wrong phone. I've got footage where I picked this document up from Howie's um, service center, which is in Century City. I am busy speaking to Vodacom as well about this issue or this problem. Um, I've got the device report, customer service report. I've got IMEI numbers on here, so what I'll do is I've got this scan in. I'll also take an IMEI number from my phone. I'll do a screenshot on it. I'll do it from my wife's phone so you guys can see. I'll cover up some, some numbers and uh, we can just verify with the numbers that's there to see if it's not. So this is what the report says. I'm just going to slide this in and make sure I'm not going to get any of my information on here. So that's a quoted price. So repair solution. Customer induced damage turn in warranty. Uh, full description screen ghost touching sometimes and selfie camera not working. Right? As this process stays is abandoned because I said not to repair it. Uh, what else on here? Okay, that's all that's on here, but I'll give the full document, I'll just take out my name, phone number, uh, IMEI number, uh, serial number, uh, I'll just mask up some numbers so uh, you guys, well, for safety reasons. Next step. They're telling me now, this is the quotation for repairing my phone, that the status is out of warranty. See, status out of warranty. And the labor cost is 250, and the total cost is 1843. And then again, Customer induced damaged turn in warranty. So they're telling me I'm trying to do this under warranty and it's actually customer fault. Now, this is not customer's fault because there's no liquid damage in my phone. So I'll be taking this further and uh, we'll see what the outcome is. Um, I'll put some footage in where I went to go pick up these documents today. I'll put the side by side of this one and footage from my first video where I will highlight all the differences between this phone picture they gave me. Um, another important thing is on Thursday I phoned them telling them that I need these stuff and they told me they keep it on record so they reprinted this so this is what they've got on record and it's wrong so Howie I'm waiting for a reply 
because this is I want to say fraud it's very close to fraud so what I'll do next is I will do a snapshot of my device serial number I'm in a number to prove that the documents they gave me is my phone I've got a workshop booking workshop um, job card I'll be scanning that in as well the serial numbers and stuff in there I'll have to take out as, as well as my name and phone number so I'll be scanning that in and you guys can pause it have a look at it and draw your own conclusion but my conclusion in th at this stage is that Howie is dishonest and they do not want to honor their warranty on my phone. We also got a thing here in South Africa similar to help. It's called Hello Peter. And uh, I went to go read some reviews on their site <laughs> and it's shocking. It's truly, truly shocking. And I never ever respond. N not one single, single complaint they respond ever. So, I'm asking you guys to push this matter. That's what I'm asking. Post it to Hi Howie's Twitter account, the Facebook account. And tell him, hey, what's going on? This is not fair. If you want to, if you don't want to, I understand. Um, right, let's go through all the proof and then um, I'll end the video there. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.